got a full advent calendar of TikTok shop products. In box number one of our TikTok shop advent calendar, we've got... So satisfying. This is a... A banana. I am not gonna know what anything is. I just realized that most things are gonna come with instructions. And this video is not fake. I actually don't know what's in it. This is for real. Do I own one of these? Wait. It comes with batteries? Thank you, TikTok. Actually, no, I paid way too much money for this. We're not talking about sad things. So I believe this is a spice pen. You put cinnamon or hot chocolate in here, and then you can draw on top of your lattes or your cappuccinos to make your very own form of latte art with minimal effort. How do we know for sure? We really don't. Honestly, there's no way to know this. This does not tell me anything. Oh wait, fill it with ground spices, such as not sticky ground cinnamon, insta cocoa powder, or pepper. <gasps> Pepper, we could be making designs on savory foods. So we've got some cinnamon. I'm gonna try to fill this up. I'm gonna have to do a separate video testing all the gadgets, especially the food ones from this, because I'm not prepared for this video. Like this is not fake. I don't know what's actually in it. So I got my assistant to pick the items, put the boxes together in order for this to be a mystery so that it's fun to watch. I'm gonna add the spices, but we gotta try this on a separate video. It will be coming soon. I promise I will film it, but there will be a separate video. Okay, so we put the cinnamon in here and now, pro tip, don't shake your cinnamon pen. Let's see if we could do a heart. Imagine this is like a frothed up latte. Oh my God. The precision. I also you probably die with so much cinnamon. But wait a damn minute. I mean, I could do f Oh, <laughs> this would become expensive very quickly. I really thought, this is incredible. I love this. I thought I've had one of these, but I guess not because I don't remember ever using this and this actually working. I will make a whole separate video on this and we're gonna try this on an actual cappuccino with cocoa powder and without messing it up. I'm in love with this already. This is already the best advent calendar ever. It's slightly concerning that the cinnamon is touching the batteries. Oh well, it's TikTok shop, not like Rosette. In box number two, we've got... Oh, this is like different colors. I love this. I mean, I'm paying for this, all the budget and colors, but I love it. Box number two, we've... It's a mini portable printer. Come on, budget. I knew this would cost too much money to put together. By the way, these boxes are so cute. Come on, like imagine receiving this as an advent calendar. I am so lucky. Thank you, universe. This is so fun. A mini portable printer. I think I already own a mini portable printer from a previous year advent calendar. I'm not joking. I think one of you guys maybe gave it to me or something. This is my second mini portable printer. What does it do? Oh, it comes with paper. You gotta connect it with Bluetooth. Ah. This video is ruined. I hate connecting things to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is ready to repair. But what if I'm not? Wait a minute. I press the button and something is happening. A little bit of paper came out. All I did was press the button. So this is kind of what the printer looks like and the paper comes from here and it's very, very small. It could probably fit in my pocket. I need to find fight for my life to sell these. I'm not, I don't even have an affiliate. This is just for fun. Come on, <laughs> please fit in the damn pocket. What kind of pockets do I have? I can't even store nuts for the winter. So you're supposed to connect this via Bluetooth. I think this should be easy. Oh yeah, it says on here, printer. Wow, this is actually easy. You just connect it directly from the main menu on your phone. It's very simple. So I think we are connected. That took about three seconds, which is unusual. You can do AI painting. What do I write? I'm gonna write a cow riding a pink turtle into the sunset. That sounds beautiful. And now we wait. Oh, that is beautiful. That is exactly what I imagined. No, wait a second, that's not a cow. That's Master Splinter. I am confused. Either way, I'm gonna print it. This is the future. We live in the future. And apparently the future is black and white. I did not see that coming, but I love it. Oh, I had one job. It's giving vintage. It's giving the best Christmas gift I've ever received. This is a success. I love it. The app is incredible. Okay, before we move on to day number three, I'm gonna print one last thing. This is really important. This is the Christmas gift that I have for you guys. You just gotta wait and see. 
that is better than I could have ever imagined. Box number three. On the 3rd of December, this is the present that we got from baby Jesus. Ooh, black. This is a crush metric, whatever that is. It's a switch pen. Does anyone speak Chinese? Because if so, it would really come in handy right now. So I think this is a pen. Thank you, I needed to sign a couple documents. I think this is a pen that does something, of course. This is called crush metric and it's got a little button on here and we are going to press it. That is witchcraft, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was that? I thought this was solid metal. So if you press this button, look what happens. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like a magic trick pen. So if you press the button, the whole pen changes in like a fraction of a second. Look at this. And now we've got a texturized pen. It's got this like crinkle effect, but this is like solid metal. It's not paper, it's solid. How is this possible? A shape-shifting pen? It's shifting my brain. A brain-shifting pen. This is an incredible gift. Oh my god, this video is full of Christmas gift ideas. Are you kidding me? This is the ideal Christmas gift for the unprofessional who is slightly interested in magic. How is this real? It's not soft. It's solid. It's so solid that you guys don't understand. I'm putting so much strength on here. It's not made of like foil paper. It's solid metal. How is it possible that solid metal does this? <laughs> I don't want this. Actually, in fact, I'm gonna give away the whole content of this whole video. I'll tell you more details about it, but this one particularly, I don't I don't know when the Annabelle doll of pens in my house. No, this is this is cursed. I don't understand it. I don't really want it. Does anyone want it? Type number three in the comment section. This is not for me. Next. Number four. This one's bigger. But I know it doesn't mean anything, because it is whatever it is. Can we talk about the TikTok aesthetic of this? Like, the quality of this YouTube channel. You're so welcome. On the 4th of December... This is so cute. I think I've seen this before on YouTube Shorts. It is a fluffy toy. There's steps to this. Step number one, two, and three. It's called a Fluffy Stuffies. First of all, you pull it. Second of all, you reveal it. And third of all, you stuff it. <gasps> this is genius! Wait, let me see if I'm getting this correctly. So you got a stuffed toy. Wait, by the way, we're gonna open straight away. Immediately opened. If I'm getting this correctly, this is like a stuffed toy that you basically get to create another stuffed toy from. We're gonna open this. And inside we've got a little panda. Oh my god, this is so cute. Wait, why are the eyes in the box? It is so fluffy. I mean, it is in the name, but look at this. It's so, so fluffy. Oh, it is so satisfying. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's no eyes. I feel like I'm staring into the soul of a demon. I hate it. I could be wrong, but if I read this correctly, you pull the hairs. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, demon. That's, I'm gonna be haunted today. Why is this video so demonic? So you pull the hair and then inside it's going to reveal another stuffed toy. And then you get to use these hairs to create another one in here. Who came up with this? And also, how long do we gotta do this for? Okay, the black ones are looking a little sus, but it's fine. But like, if I found a pile of these black ones in my house, I'd be like, that better not have been my shaver. Why can I make this family friendly on Christmas once, one time, one year? Guys, this is so much fun. It is strangely satisfying. I feel like, you know, those people who like to pop pimples and stuff like that, you would love this. I think my dog would love this. He'd probably eat them and then die, but you know. Should we save these? And then what you do is you grab this and then you stuff it inside. And it's going to hold the shape of it? This is very interesting. It's a really interesting product. So you gotta collect all of this to put it inside. I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't think I have it in me to do the full thing. I mean, let's do a time lapse and see how much I can get done. Ooh. 
Wait a second. It does have a soul after all. Okay, so once you're done, you start to reveal the actual toy inside. So I bet if I remove this, the ears are also gonna be pink. This is kind of fun. I mean, this is one of those things you just gotta sit at home doing this. Whenever you're bored, this would be the perfect activity. Look at this. So inside there's a different color. So I bet if I remove this whole thing, it's fully pink inside. This is kind of a good idea for a product. I also feel like I'm going to be covered in this. The 5th of December better be a lint roller. But it is fun. I kind of want to do this whole thing and show it to you. I don't really have the patience right now. This is a lot of work. This is also what it's like to being a pet owner. And those of you who do have a pet, I'm so sorry. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Then you put it in here and you basically get to create a brand new stuffed toy. It's a good idea. It's eco-friendly, right? You know, if you ignore all the plastic and paper and everything that took to make this, we're practically Greta Thunberg. This was a great 4th of December present. Not that anyone cares, but this is the final result. This is kind of what it looked like once I'm done with it. I mean, it is really fun. This was surprisingly quick. It took like an hour. Now this part is slightly horrifying. So this is what happens when you're done. It's like using the meat, skinning that poor teddy bear alive to create this. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Cute idea, slightly horrifying. The good news is I can now reach for the next one. Here we got the 5th of December. On the 5th of December, we've got a popcorn maker. Wait, a microwave popcorn maker where you put the butter directly into it. I've never seen anything like this before because it's got the popcorn maker, but then you also put the butter directly on top of it. So it's almost like those, you know, those professional popcorn making machines. It's kind of like that, but in your microwave. This is incredible. It's like good quality. A TikTok shop is coming through. You know what? I... I am so happy with this. The design of it is so freaking cute. It says popcorn on here. It's either metal or plastic, I'm not sure, but just the way it's designed, it's really cool. And then you can put the butter on here in the end so that the whole thing is flavored. This is like infusing your popcorn with flavor. This is incredible. Like I said, these videos are not fake. I didn't know this was gonna be in here. There's gonna be a fully separate video reviewing these. Stay tuned for that. Probably it's gonna come in a day or two. The 5th of December, it's giving. It's been giving every single day so far as Christmas ever. A Christmas miracle. So this is the 6th of December. This is so heavy. This is the heaviest one yet. What is in this? Oh, I should have not done that. What if it's a laptop? I wouldn't want a laptop from TikTok shop. No offense. <laughs> so this is the 6th of December and it is so big that you literally won't even be able to see me. This is great. I'm just a head, a floating head. So on the 6th of December, we've got... This is the best one yet. I'm gonna cry. I've always wanted one of these. I'm actually gonna cry, I'm not, I'm not lying. I've literally always wanted one of these. I know it's mine. Uh, I've got tears in my eyes. I'm not joking. On the 6th of December, we got one of those claw machines. Oh man. The only way to make this better is if I could insert a coin in there and charge people and put one on the street and then just become rich off my Christmas present. An entrepreneur. It comes with all the stuff that you can collect. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A miniature screwdriver. Why is it making me cry? Oops. And that's how I ruined Christmas. Oh my god, this is so cute. Are you kidding me? It's a claw machine for the comfort of your house. I just want to say the details on it are so cute. That little rabbit on top, like the claw machine, everything is like anime, kind of like adorable. Then even the sides are see-through. Are you kidding me? They didn't have to send me all the stuff to put inside because I would probably put candy in there. The claw machine, the buttons, everything's like so cute and perfect. Okay, now I gotta figure out a way to open this. Oh man, this is so cute. This actually works. The mechanism is locked right here, so we gotta unlock it. Maybe this is why it wasn't working. I'm trying to release the claw machine. Is it broken? Did I ruin Christmas? Oh my God, this is amazing. For now, I'm gonna fill it up with all the stuff that came with it. 
It also comes with the cutest stuffed toys, like a full bag of these. So I'm just gonna put them inside. This is so cute. This is one of those things that I bet if you see this online on TikTok shop or Amazon, you think this is so bad. And then it gets here and it's exactly the same as in the image. It's so cute and well made. Now I gotta change the batteries and then we're good to go. So we went and got some batteries. So it takes four batteries, but also you could just use USB-C charging on it. So that's pretty incredible. It's a very like robust build. Like sometimes you get one of these gadgets and it's like made of paper, duct tape in a dream. It's not one of those. This should be working now. This is officially the best day of my life. Wait. working. I want to get this one. Oh my god, I can't believe I got two of them. This is the best thing ever. I cannot believe this actually works. This is the best Christmas present I could have ever received. This is my favorite one. I know I've been saying that every day. Actually, my favorite one possibly ever. Okay, I want to get one of the balls. Let's do it. Yes! Oh, so close! Come on! Okay, the balls are... I did it. I'm clapping for my own skills. This is amazing. If you know anyone in your life who's like, I don't want anything for Christmas. I have everything. No, you don't. You don't possess one of these. Because if you did, you'd be a much happier person, Carl. Nothing personal. This is so fun. This is incredible. Please buy one of these. Next up, the 7th of December. Also, why do we feel like one of those girls on The Price is Right? Like... So on the 7th, we've got... An automatic cordless curler. A hair curler. I don't really know if I need this. A 24 watt ceramic coated curl chamber. This is basically the Dyson Airwrap. I was gonna say for people on a budget, but for a TikTok shop. I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't even show you, but it looks kind of fancy. Not the hair clips. I actually feel quite pretty. This seems like fancy wrap. How much did I pay for this? Wait a second. Why is this so nice? So in the front, this is the on and off switch, a little temperature button, and this is where your hair goes in order to curl it. I will say my hair is really short. Even when I try to curl it myself, it doesn't last very long. So this is as curly as it gets, but I will try it. I don't know if I'm the best person to try this, but I will. I believe you have to charge this. Why does it seem like it's going to give you a haircut? Because your hair is supposed to go in here. So I think this has got enough battery in it. So you switch it on. And then it kind of gives you the temperature, which I'm going to start with 150 Celsius. This is going to happen to my hair. I'm not sure about this. So according to the instructions, you're supposed to get a whole piece of your hair. I'm gonna use this one so you guys can see it. So this is gonna be the piece of hair that I'm gonna be using. Is it working? Okay, so now it's heating up. It is not curly. I feel like I'm doing it right. It's definitely in there. Straighter than it was before. Maybe if I increase the temperature. Let's go all the way 200. Maybe it needs a little bit longer. This is my very last attempt. I'm gonna use this whole chunk of hair. This is my longest piece of hair. I was trying to do something too obvious. You know what? I really wanna test this out for you guys. So you gotta put it in here, through here, and then it goes into there. Okay, let's see what happens. So this is where my hair is. Okay, it's gone. Mm. Why do I see some of my hair on the table? This better not be breaking my hair. Yeah, I feel like that's enough. We got a full curl. Wait, that kind of worked. Did you see that? I mean, it's more of a wave. I mean, I guess it actually looks kind of nice. It's right here. I actually like it, but I'm gonna go and say, with these kind of things, you gotta spend your money. Like this probably doesn't cost that much money. This is like a 
$25 machine. I will send it to one of you guys if you really want to try it with long hair. If you've got long hair and you want to do one of these reviews for us, I will send this to you for free. I will pay for shipping. Let's go to the next day. It better be worth me getting up for this. So this is what we got on the 8th of December. I thought it was a turkey for a second. This is, I'm assuming some kind of kitchen gadget. Let me see if we got any information. A Pinang knitting, no, no it's not. That's just Chinese. How did I read that? I'm assuming it's some kind of kitchen utensil. So this seems to be a dumpling maker. Oh wait, I understand. So you put in the dough for the dumplings in here, you flatten the dough, but I don't think this is for a dumpling. I think this might be for like an empanada, a miniature empanada, because dumplings, do you use dough for dumplings or just it's already made the dough, right? And also it comes with little utensils for you to shape the dough. Is this decoration? Wait, no, this, <gasps> it's a carrot. This whole thing is a carrot. This this was almost as good as when they realized that the arena is a clock on the Hunger Games. One of those moments was cinematic parallels, just very different budgets. This is incredible. I don't know if incredible is the right word, but it is quite something if you like dumplings. So I'm gonna make a whole video trying these. I can't really tell if this is worth it, so you're gonna have to wait to find out. But I love the aesthetic of it. I love that it's a carrot, you know? Sometimes I'm like, you know what I need in my kitchen? A dumpling maker that is shaped like a carrot with a little hole for me to put it on the wall so everyone can see that I love dumplings. But more importantly, I love carrots. <laughs> Why does everything I say sound shady? I actually think this might be really fun and I cannot wait to try it for real. The 9th of December. I feel like we're overdue. Something fun, something shocking. Give me a moment that I'll never forget for future Christmases. So on the 9th of December, a big box for this. <laughs> This is a penguin trap. Simple to play, babies love to play. Am I the baby? I am the baby in this situation. So this is like a game, I think. I feel like I've heard of this. I've never really played this and I've never owned one, but it seems like it's uh, some kind of game where I can't read the instructions because they put the barcode right here. It had one job. Oh, that's, that's too much work. That's too much work immediately. So you gotta put together like a miniature arena. Man, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Am I really? Time lapse. So I think I've done a good job of putting this together, which by the way, was kind of satisfying. I kind of loved it. This is the main game platform. It also comes with these hammers and you're supposed to grab one of these little penguins and place it on top of the platform, kind of like this. And then using the hammer, you're supposed to knock down different pieces without knocking the whole thing down. So like, let's say you want to get the white one out. The penguin is supposed to stay on it. That's the point of the game. You're supposed to knock down one of the white ones without ruining the whole thing. So it's kind of like Jenga and it also comes with this little wheel that kind of tells you what your move is. This would be fun to play for Christmas. In fact, I'm going to be playing this with my cousins for Christmas. So thank you, Advent Calendar. I appreciate it. For those of you who like board games, this would be really fun. I don't have friends though, if anyone wants to come over. Come through in the comment section. Not the comment section, but Instagram DMs. Someone please come play penguin trap with me. <laughs> Wipe my tears with my penguin trap. A big moment for annoying people. A double digit box. This is when things get real. On the 10th of December. Let's see what TikTok has got for us on the 10th of December. I feel like when it's black, the paper, it's something next level, or maybe I'm imagining things. I'm imagining things. <laughs> Not something that I was actively asking Santa Claus for to receive as a gift this year, but you know, um, it's a miniature iron. <laughs> A foldable mini iron. I'm assuming to iron your clothes? What are they trying to say? I take a lot of pride in my cleanliness, neatness of my clothes and my house. However, part of me is saying, maybe I need one of these. It is not portable. You still plug it to the wall. Portable, it is not. The definition of portable is it's gotta work anywhere. Oh my, it is really cool. Wait, this is a great idea for a gift. Even comes with a miniature cup. 
Are you kidding me? Let me plug this in to show you what it is actually like. It literally has one button, which is that button to do the steamy thing, the irons do, and that is it. I love the colors of it. This would look amazing in my house. And it comes with a plastic cover so you don't burn yourself after you're done. They kind of thought of everything, you know? They kind of ate. Somebody cooked here, guys. Somebody cooked a meal. I didn't want to like it, but I love it. So I've plugged this in. Oh, let me remove the cover because this is getting hot. There's a little light in it and you can use the cover. You can use the cover as a coaster for your portable iron. But what does foldable mean? There are levels to this. So I guess you put the water in and it's gonna do that steamy thing. I don't know, I'm not a specialist in laundry. Honestly, not very hot, not great, but I guess it's just the beginning. I hate that I'm growing up in the way where you start to get excited about a foldable iron, you know, a miniature iron to put in your luggage. But how handy is this? You know when you start using words like handy? That's me. This is about to enter a whole new demographic of gadgets in my channel. Next up, we're gonna be trying geriatric diapers. I don't, that sounds kind of fun. It works, it's definitely not perfect. Like if this was the only iron that I used at home, I would have gone insane because this would take too long. However, I would be lying if I didn't tell you that it did the job. It's not perfect, as you can see. It's, it's a very specific gift to give to someone, but I'm grateful I had it in my advent calendar. Thank you, the God of advent calendars. That was one of the most interesting ones ever. I feel like I've received so much. How is there still more? And on the 11th of December, we've got... A tolerable? A tabletop. <laughs> well, couldn't have been further. A tabletop drum grater. So a fast, efficient, hand-powered. Okay, they lost me. They lost me a hand-powered. Why does it gotta be hand-powered? Why can't it be battery-powered? Sun-powered? Children-powered? My pet powered, honestly, he doesn't do much all day. Why does he gotta be with my hands? I've seen this on TikTok, people use this mostly for cheese. This is a way, if you buy like a Parmigiano Reggiano, you can grate it really quickly because freshly grated cheese tastes better. Or people say, I honestly, I can't taste the difference, but I'm sure it's right. I'm gonna try this on a separate video. I literally have nothing at home to try this with and I really wanna try it, but I will show it to you just so you see what it looks like. Because I know a lot of you guys are still buying Christmas presents and this is a great idea for a Christmas present. This video is actually full of great ideas for Christmas presents. So you've got a few uh, types of blades. Alternatively, you could use it to curl up your hair. You probably wake up bald, but what a fun experience to get there. So this is the machine. It is hand powered. This better not be difficult to use. We're just gonna place this on here. Let me see if I can figure this out. That is shockingly simple to the point where I'm like, this might be worth it, you know? Okay, that's all it is, you know? Oh, maybe that's not all it is. <laughs> maybe there should be a little bit more. Oh, wait a second, there's a little button on the side. There's a little button here on the side, so you just pull it up and then it snaps into place. It's pretty sturdy because of that kind of button. You literally put your cheese on top and then you just move this and then you can get three different types of cheese shavings. This is kind of incredible because if you're making a charcuterie board for Christmas, if you're about to work your shift at the Olive Garden, <laughs> keep one of these in your apron pocket. You never know, you know? You'd get a big tip from me and that's all that matters. And we are officially halfway through the month of December. Traditionally, I feel like the 12th of December is always a really special one, so I'm excited for this. I will say, because we're halfway through, every year I usually send this to you guys, the content of these boxes. So with some of them, I still gotta finish filming with them, but then I will still clean them and put them together for you guys. Comment below the number that you want to receive and your Instagram handle so I can DM you to get your address. I do this every year. Some things are never claimed. The least popular items, go in the comments and find them and comment those numbers because you will get it for sure. So 24 people are getting presents this Christmas. You're welcome. On the 12th of December, we've got... I love this! Me when I get socks for the sixth time or a box of Raffaello chocolates. Please. This is... Oh, wait a second. 
a digital reading tape measure. I wasn't interested and then I read digital. It's like a tape measure with a screen on it. When did this come out? Honestly, are you can it's got a USB cable for my tape measure? It is the future. And sometimes I forget it is the future. This is one of those times where I'm being reminded. It is so cute. I love this. I love when you buy like the most boring object and you make it aesthetic. That always works for me. Having to peel off the screen of your tape measure is insane. It is next level. And your tape measure having a USB slot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And it changes. Look at this. This is genius. This would probably make my dad cry. He would actually cry opening this gift. <laughs> this is the ultimate dad gift. You're so welcome. I've just changed lives this Christmas. You're still on time to go get one of these. This is one of those things where like, this should have been a thing a million years ago. How is this my first time seeing one of these? I don't know, but I know that this is the ultimate gift. It is cute. It is nicely packaged. It is an amazing present for the 12th of December. I'm not even the audience for this and I'm like, I would keep this if I wasn't sending this to you guys. I want this so bad. On the 13th of December, which is also a national holiday, Taylor Swift's birthday, actually should be an international holiday. We've got some kind of kitchen gadget, something to do with alcohol. It's like a mini bottle. Oh no, it's a vegetable chopper. That kind of looked like a miniature bottle, but turns out it's a vegetable chopper. I mean, that's what it is, a vegetable chopper. There's not much more to say here. He says, one piece pressed garlic chopper, onion cutter, tomato crusher. You can cut anything with this. It is shockingly big. What kind of vegetable are you going to be chopping with this? I guess an onion. That, that seems about right. I'm going to make a full video dedicated to this as well. I just want to show you. This is really bad quality. It looks like stainless steel. This is spray painted silver. There's pieces of paint kind of everywhere. Like the paint is coming off kind of all throughout. And this is so flimsy. I mean, this probably costs nothing, so I can't complain. But if you're giving this to someone as a Christmas present, I mean, only if you have a very small budget, then maybe but it's not very good quality. This feels very plasticky. I have toys for children that are better quality built than this, and you're supposed to make food with this. There's pieces of metal coming off it. For Christmas, on the 13th of December, I got metal poisoning. This is scary. So the blade just comes out and chops whatever vegetable. It is kind of scary. Not very easy to use for some reason. I guess you put the vegetable in here and then this is not very good. <laughs> it's not very good quality, but that is it. It is kind of satisfying to use, but there is pieces of metal everywhere. I don't know where it's coming from. Is it paint? Is it metal? We will only know once it's in our bloodstream. Next up, the 14th of December. White tissue paper. I wonder if the colors mean anything. Should have really asked that. It's a big box, but a tiny present. <laughs> I believe this is a whisk. I have seen this on YouTube shorts, I think. I saw this lady in Korea who had a full range of these items and they're actually really cool. And I wanted one of these because this looks like magic. Look at it. They're not even touching these wires. And look at this. Three, two, one. It's not as easy as I thought, but a DIY, create your own whisk. So I think this is done in order to save space and so that it's easier to clean because it's really difficult to get all the batter from this and to also clean it after. You kind of have to go one, another one, another one. So when you're done with whisking something, you collapse it and then you can just wipe it running underwater and it's literally just one single layer, which makes it a lot easier to clean it. I don't see a reason for me to go and buy a whole range of these because I'm thinking, What's gonna happen with all the stuff stuck in there? We're just creating another problem, you know? It's a great gimmicky present. So if you know anyone who likes baking, the 14th of December, that is a great day for this. The 15th of December. This one, it's such a big advent calendar that I have to get up every single time. I'm like, I'm exhausted. Life is difficult. I have to get up to open my own presents. I need a self-opening presence. The 15th of December, let's find out what's in here. Oh. Initially, I thought the black paper was giving, but now I think the blue paper has been giving more. Please be something nice. Please be something nice. Please be something nice. 
something nice it is. <laughs> They're just making things up now. This is an aerator and dispensive for electric wine. Wait, this is for electric wine? What's electric wine? This is how to motorize wine, a wine bottle, I think. Let's see, let's see what it's giving. So this is another one of those. This is a dad gift. Buying presents for dads is very difficult. Unless your dad is like a niche, kind of like interest. My dad is very much your typical dad. Tools, tape measures, that's like my kind of dad gift. So this is a little gadget. I cannot believe they made a pump for your wine. It's USB-C charged. <laughs> what? There's a USB-C charger on it. This is the future. When this is charged, I'm assuming you put this on your bottle of wine and then you can just get a glass of wine. We need to try this. I don't have wine at home. In fact, I have no drinks. But I gotta try this with something. I can't go to bed and not try this. Are you kidding me? I'll try this with my own spit. Let's motorize my bloodstream. <laughs> that was just disgusting. I'm gonna charge this. So I only charged this for like five minutes, but listen to this. I don't have wine, but I do have water, which is close second. I should have probably washed this. Oh, I, re I really should. I am going to place our pump. Oh, that fits. Pretty well. I feel like you'd probably fit better if it was a bottle of wine. Does it look silly? Yes. Would I still buy this and keep this in my house? Absolutely. This is gonna be all wet. I'm gonna have to buy you guys a new one. If things are ruined in this video, I will buy you a new one for the giveaway. I will check. I'm not gonna waste anything. If it's fine, it's fine. It's free. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Three, two, one. That is an amazing stream. <laughs> Life will never be the same. I want one of these. I'm so mad that I already committed to this giveaway. I want this so bad. Are you kidding me? My water is cloudy, but it doesn't really matter because I didn't clean this. I guess I'm gonna bend the whole thing now. This is incredible. It works perfectly. It charges in like five seconds and it doesn't look that silly. So that's a plus. I would keep this in my fridge. I'm never gonna have to get bottles out of my fridge. I'm just gonna bring the glass in there. Thank you. I I'm not drinking this. Absolutely not. But the 15th was one of my favorite days of this advent calendar. Things are getting spicy. 16th of December. An electric dumpling maker. Fast dumplings make life easy. No truer words have ever been spoken. You know what we need? An electric motorized way to make a dumpling. No, now we're talking, you know? Are you kidding me? They actually made a motorized dumpling maker. I don't know if you guys remember, but I believe last year for Christmas, we tested a manual dumpling maker, which was fun and people liked it. This time around, it's automatic. What? It comes with a USB cable. I don't got the words. How do you start this? Maybe we need to charge it. Babe, wait a minute. My electric dumpling maker is charging. I don't know the time. My life can be for real right now. This, this is not real. So this is charged for a little bit. It also, I just realized it comes with a brush. So I think if you're using this with an actual dumpling, you wanna brush this with egg wash or something so it doesn't stick on here. So they send you a little brush, which is nice. And then it's got two modes, the manual and the automated. Obviously you're buying this for the automated mode. And one of my favorite things is suction. So it doesn't really move. Never mind. What do you need suction for if this is gonna do all the work? Not my circus, not my monkeys. We're gonna use the automated one. There's like a countdown going on. Five, four, three, two, one. This cannot be for real. You need to see this. Are you kidding me? What happens if I put this in there? What happens if I put my finger in there? Seven, six, no, <laughs> no, I gotta put me first. How does it stop? <laughs> There's no start or stop button. I cannot wait for this. I wouldn't be making a new dumpling every nine seconds. This is, this is incredible. A lot of potential here. The 16th holiday sleigh. Next up, the 17th of December. Wow. 
Santa ran out of budget on the 17th of December. What is this box? It looks like I prepared this one myself. So this is a TikTok shop version of a Stanley Cup. Wait a minute. No, it's not. No, no, never mind. I'm wrong. It's not. Wait a minute. It is so much better than a Stanley Cup. Let me put this together. Okay, so first of all, this is dirty, but let's ignore that. What's with these weird looking straw? I am so confused. Okay, so this is to give a little bit more extra length to your straw. So you got your traditional kind of like Stanley Cup kind of size. Then you got a straw and a cup because this is a cup in which you can put your snacks in here and snack on like something crunchy and delicious and then drink from the same cup. And the only reason why I'm not putting my mouth in here is because this is so covered in industrial debris, if you will, that I would probably not make it to the 24th of December. And I really want to know what's on that 24th of December box. That is why I'm here. I'm here to get to the 24th. This is really fun. This would be an amazing Christmas present. I also don't think this was very expensive. So if you want to give something to someone on a budget, this is a sippy cup for adults. Let's be honest. This could also be for kids, but if you put vodka in it, it's probably for adults. I'm talking to you, Deborah. The 18th of December. This is before we enter the last two rows. I am very excited now. I just know this is when things start to pick up. Strangely light. On the 18th of December, we got... Party cups. <laughs> like, literally. A literal stack of party cups. This is a quick sushi maker roll rice mold vegetable meat rolling gadget. DIY. That was so descriptive, yet not descriptive at all. Amazing. So inside, we've got a... I'm assuming it is whatever was described on that. I guess like a sushi maker. Look at this. That's like the center of the sushi. That's the filling of the sushi. You could fill sushi with anything. I don't want to mess with this too much, guys, because I really want to try this. I need to buy sushi rice. Are you kidding me? This is possibly the greatest idea ever. So you put the sushi on the outside, and then how do you fill up the hole though? Through here? That's the filling of the sushi? I am confused, but I will try this. Once again, this is another one that's upcoming. It's most likely gonna be my next video where I try these because I have to buy all the ingredients. These videos with gadgets, they need so many ingredients. I don't just randomly have all the ingredients in my house. This is pre-prepared with lists and like mental power. Me trying to sound like my job is more interesting than it actually is. I literally go to the grocery store. These are by far the biggest boxes in the whole advent calendar. These are so big. I don't even think the camera does justice. And guess what? This is so heavy. On the 19th of December... No, no, because you guys, you don't even know how much I wanted one of these. This was going to be in one of my Christmas videos regardless, whether someone was going to buy it for me or I was going to buy it myself. I know exactly what this is. This is a cookies makery. This is the toy of this Christmas. This is the most popular toy currently possibly in the world. This has been a great advent calendar. I was not expecting this much stuff. This is essentially an oven in which you transform a bunch of dough into a stuffed animal. You create your own pet from bread. Who came up with this? <laughs> We're gonna need scissors here. This one, I'm gonna have to rebuy one of these for the giveaway because I'm not gonna send you this after I destroy the box. Sorry. This is really cute. It's like an oven. It's actually mostly made of paper, which on the videos I watched, I thought this was like plastic and like sturdy, but turns out it's paper. But nevertheless, it could be fun. Let's get this out, I'm assuming. Oh, they really said the environment. This is it, just an oven. Here we've got the mixtures that we're making. I have no idea how dough is going to become a stuffed toy, but I want to believe. Inside, this is called treats. This kind of reminds me of the toys from the previous year, like the magic potion in which I almost died. I was so scared. I'll never get over that. And then the crystal ball, but this time is an oven. So there's two different powders. We're gonna combine both of them. It's kind of like making slime where there's like an activator. So we're gonna do this. 
And then they give you a little cup measure and I fill that up with water. So we're gonna do one measure of that. This is a really cute cup, by the way. Not that that matters. And now using the spoon that they gave me, I am going to mix this up. I think I know what's going on inside there, but I'm not gonna say anything to ruin the magic for any children watching this video. It smells like raw bread dough, which is really weird. Like raw baguette. That's a very interesting smell to choose for a children's toy. Like, you know what we need? The kids love the smell of yeast. <laughs> The next step is to basically use your hands to mix this. This smells a little bit funky. I'm like, I would prefer not to touch it directly. Thank you. This is then going to go into this oven and it's going to become a creature. If you don't believe me, just watch. It's gonna blow your mind. I think this is the present to buy for your kids this Christmas. However, this is kind of expensive. So honestly, just type in the number of this box in the comment section. I will send it to you for free. You're welcome. I wish I could send one to everyone, but then I'd probably have to retire my YouTube channel altogether. Strangely, this looks exactly like real dough. That looks like bread dough and it smells just as yeasty. What I'm gonna do now, now that we have a fully formed dough, I'm gonna open this little shape thingy. We're supposed to basically create this shape out of bread. I'm gonna just press it in and I am making a mess, I'm aware. And we're gonna press this in as much as I can. I'm assuming this is about as smooth as I'm gonna go and get. So let me see the face. Please don't be ugly. I mean, that kind of worked out. It's kind of cute. It is a piece of raw dough shaped like a dog. It is strangely adorable and it makes me want to eat it. What does that say about me? I'm not entirely sure that we want to know. It's so cute, I want to eat it. No, that's, that's wrong. So we're gonna put this in the oven. Let me making the most adorable thing and saying bye, good luck, don't burn. Does he have batteries or anything? Guys, this toy is a mystery. There's no batteries, nothing. Bye buddy, it was nice meeting you. And we're gonna switch this on. Wait, this just got interesting. Why do I believe that this is cooking? Even though that's literally impossible, it's made of cardboard. In my head, it's baking my bread. In my head, I'm picturing this. The bread is all toasty and doughy, steamy. <laughs> Where does it come from, the sound? This is made of literal plastic and cardboard. I swear, if there's a stuffed toy in here, if there's a dog in here, I'm, I'm gonna be speechless. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you joking right now? How is this real? It smells like bread. It smells like fresh, sweet, cinnamon, honey, butter bread. This can't be for real. How is this for real? <laughs> it's cooked. It's my toy, but it's cooked. It looks strangely si Not the This is so cute. But the most shocking part, guys, is this smells like sweet, some kind of brioche bread, sweet vanilla brioche bread. It's one of the best smelling things I've ever smelled in my entire existence. This, the 19th of December, one of the greatest advent calendars we've ever experienced. How did this happen? I don't wanna know. This is witchcraft, it is wrong, and it should be illegal, but it's so cute. All is forgiven, I love it. It's cardboard and a dream, and it somehow worked. It's very inspirational. Can I still eat the other one? It's gotta be in here somewhere. The 20th of December. This is getting smaller and smaller. This one is very light for such a big box. I don't know what this is. Some kind of miniature table. This is, um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea what this is. Is anyone gonna know what this is in the comment section? One of you has got the brain power to do this. Please let me know. Shout out to the people who are going to be able to know what this is. What do you use this for? Something to do with your shower, right? I don't know. And this is kind of similar to the other one. It's like a pump for your drinks, I think. It's got a motor here. Where's the batteries though? Okay, there's a place for batteries. Let's put batteries and see what happens here. But I believe this is like, this transforms a regular bottle into a soda machine, like a soda dispenser, like the McDonald's soda dispenser. It's like a contact thing. 
Does this make sense? I think that's what this is. And this is like a motor. I think this one needs to be tested with like a, a fizzy drink, like a Diet Coke or something that makes you have the McDonald's experience at home. So I'm gonna test that out and compare it to like a McDonald's one. So we're gonna do that on the next video. This is fun. This is a good 20th. There are four boxes left. At this point, guys, I only have my eyes on the 24th. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I wanna get. What is the 24th? Stay tuned. Three sleeves until Christmas. Okay. I was like, this is slightly anticlimactic. I'm like, what is going on? We usually got a big leading up to Christmas, but we did get a couple items. We got more paper than items. Interesting. I do believe the items might be color coded. I just wasn't paying attention. First of all, this, I am assuming this is either food. I'm not gonna show my feet on camera. Not this Christmas. It would have to be paid. I'm keeping it super real. I think this might be a foot massager for like to put in your shower. It's actually a great idea and I do wanna use it. I'm gonna put it on my fridge. No, nope, that didn't stick. This is currently stuck to my fridge. feels amazing. It's scratching parts of my brain that have never been scratched before in ways that I've never been massaged before. 10 out of 10. I can only imagine that if this is wet with soap, it would feel even better, like silky, smooth on your skin. This is really cool. I also think you could probably use this for your back. You can just use this for anything. It's basically a great idea for those people in your life always complaining about being stressed, give them one of these, a bath scratcher. Then we got, I don't know what these are guys. A lot of the things on TikTok shop, you need the context of the videos in order for them to make sense. I'm assuming these are great things and I'm grateful that I got all these new gadgets. Actually, no, because I'm giving them to you guys. So I shouldn't be grateful. You guys should be grateful. You're welcome. Oh, I should probably not give you the one with my foot. Oh well, you put it in the shower. This is like a grater or something. Wait, maybe it's a potato slicer. A strawberry cutter. That's it. That's a strawberry cutter. I've seen this before. I am so intelligent. I spend so much time on TikTok. I really have seen everything. This one is, I'm gonna guess a lemon squeezer and actually makes a lot of sense because it comes with a tiny little knife. You maybe use this side, the knife side to cut a lemon, even though this is quite a tiny little knife. And then maybe this one to scoop up the lemon. I'm not sure about this. I will ask the person who put this whole thing together because I know all of these came from popular TikTok videos to send me the videos because I'm going to make a whole video trying it. So you will find out, just not today. I'm sorry, that is annoying. And if you're watching this in the future, it's probably already out. So you get to enjoy two full videos right now. Now, can we get the fun stuff started? Please, come on, these have to slay. This last three, let's do it. This is the heaviest one by far and biggest. Holy, it looks so tiny in comparison to this box right now. The 22nd of December. I for some reason love when it's a black paper kind of situation. Very mysterious. Oh, this makes so much sense. Oh, I need this. This is the best Christmas ever. A shoulder, neck, waist, back, and legs massager. An automated massager. Oh man, you're about to have a good time. This is about to be the best Christmas ever, truly. I used to not like massagers. I used to hate people touching me and getting massages. It just felt really weird and uncomfortable. Now, when they come from these gadgets, it hits completely different. I immediately love it. So I don't know what that says about me, but probably a lot. Oh man, this is so good quality. It is leather or fake leather, but you know. Oh man, I'm so happy for one of you guys who's going to get this. Guys, the 22nd, <laughs> this is the best value in the whole video. Are you kidding me? This stuff was like 300 or something. You can place this practically anywhere. It's got a USB cable for you to listen to me. No, it's probably to charge. <laughs> does it come charged? Yes, it does. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. It is really heavy, but it also feels very high quality. So it's like a belt. I think this works on practically anything, including your head. So these little things here, this is what massages you. And there is a full control on this side. I'm gonna switch it on. That is going to be amazing. That looks wrong as well. 
like really strange. Not sure how I feel about that. I feel like this is one of those products that really needs instructions because you could either have the best time ever or go to the hospital. Like that is within the realm of possibilities. I will read the instructions. Unless it's really difficult, then I will not read the instructions. I will not read the instructions. I guess this? Oh wait, let's do my neck first. Oh, that fits perfectly. That is strange. I'm just gonna hold it for now. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Ouch! It's trying to kill me! Ouch! I hate it! I really want to like it. That feels too close to death. It's horrifying. That is my bone structure. That's trying to kill me. I knew Chachi, but he was gonna come for me. I didn't know it was gonna be under this form. Talk about a knife on your back. I will be honest, this is either upside down or he's trying to kill me. It's one of the two. That does not feel good at all. Guys, I cannot put this this close to my neck. I will actually die. The instructions don't really say much. We are using this correctly. I just need to tighten this up on my back now. I think we just have to do this. Now the scary part is, if this tries to kill me, I cannot escape. This is strapped onto me. Okay, I'm trying to relax into this. It feels like I'm getting massaged by ChatGPT. I'm like, I never wanted to be this intimate. When I said I'll pay for the monthly subscription, this is not what I meant. Ah, ouch. It pulls my hair sometimes. It feels... Strangely sensual. Like I have a tiny elephant on my back. <laughs> I hate it. This was supposed to be a Christmas miracle. This is a Christmas curse. I am keeping it on for longer than I thought. Oh, remix. Come through, ChatGPT. The parts when it's touching me, it's my literal skull. ChatGPT, how do we put this as nice as I can? I do not have stress, accumulated stress on my skull. But thank you for thinking of the possibility. Like, do you guys kind of see how that works? It's interesting. It doesn't feel too great. And I don't know why, because I am using it correctly according to the image. It almost feels like I'm too big for this. Like my skull is too big. I'm happy to send this to one of you guys. Please take it. No, 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 I insist. It's a no from me, I think, guys. But it was a good thought. The 23rd of December. One single box missing. It's gotta be good, right? The 22nd was interesting. I think it was meant with the best of intentions. I can hear callers. The day before, the day before Christmas. Christmas music intensifies. Now, that is perfect for the 23rd of December. This is big brain energy. On the 23rd, the day after you got a massage robot, you get a donut maker. Did you guys know these were a thing? A donut maker? How did I not know this is a thing? A robot that makes donuts. This is so smart. How did no one ever think of this? I want to buy actual donut dough and try this out, but I just want to see what it looks like because Wait a minute, these are not real sized donuts. This is a miniature sized donut maker. Why are my donuts shaped like donut holes? And why are these donuts holes shaped like an atom? It could still be amazing. This feels like really good quality, so I'm grateful. Actually, I'm grateful for this whole video. Let me just say that, all jokes aside, this is incredible that I get to experience this every year. Talk about being lucky, right? Sometimes people are afraid to say these things out loud, like they're lucky, or when things work out really well, and like, talk about me being lucky, opening this stuff every year because you guys are here. That is the real gift. Single tear comes down my eye. You will see me using this on the next video or the one after. Promise you, I promise you, it will happen. I'm not failing you, not this time around. This is perfect, but you know what else is more perfect? That single box sitting right there. What is it? I really don't know what it is. Is it gonna be food? I bet it's gonna be like a cake from TikTok shop. No, thank you. We went through blood, sweat, and tears for this very moment. That is so heavy. That is one of the heaviest ones. I'm assuming it's not food. Are you kidding me? What is in here? And if it's not a MacBook, you can keep it. And if it's Josh Hutcherson whistling, you can keep it. On the 24th of December, the very last day of the Christmas advent calendar, we have received 
from TikTok shop. A what? A DJ? <laughs> a DJ mix? I expected everything, but not this. A children DJ set. I guess DJ era incoming. I guess, might as well. I mean, we have practically lived everything at this point. There's only as much as you can do with cake. DJ era, seems right. I'm joking, but this is legit, like a full on set. This feels legit. I don't even know how this is for kids. Sometimes I listen to music on the radio and it doesn't seem like it comes from this level of quality. I don't want to say any names, but see ya. I'm trying not to ruin the box because I know this is going to be the most requested thing from you guys. Everyone loves a good DJ set. So the good news is it already comes with batteries. So let's see what this is giving. <laughs> this feels ridiculous in so many ways. Also, this feels correct in so many more ways. <laughs> The lighting system is giving. Let's pick a beat. Let's make a Christmas song. Let's go. We need the special lights effect. It's giving already. I'm gonna call this Merry Christmas. Very original. I worked on it for a while. No, this is more like what I need to give. It's giving Christmas song. Like Santa creeping in to drop the presents by the fireplace. It's already got a story. Is it Santa or is it Krampus? Wait, I am amazing at this! Okay, no. no that was too much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's a start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's getting Christmassy. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> heard it from the nightmare before Christmas. What about the nightmare on Christmas? Specifically targeting my family. That's the power of this machine. Am I going to use this again? No, but I am going to send it to one of you guys. If you want a DJ set, you can truly make music on here. I don't know how this works, but you can. Let me know in the comment section which item do you want from this video and why is it the DJ set? Like, honestly. I'm joking, but I really am doing a giveaway for this video, so if you want any of the items in this video, comment down below which item do you want. I only want to send one item per person because I want to be able to send to as many people as possible, so I'm gonna try Try. Last year, I feel like half of the stuff didn't get sent because some people didn't send me the address. It was chaotic. So this year, please come through. This will be open until February 1st because a lot of people still watch Christmas videos in January. I also do that. So I'm going to keep the giveaways open until the 1st of February. So I really hope you enter. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is one of many Christmas videos that you will see. So don't forget to subscribe, switch my notifications on. And I really mean this because when I post the giveaway winners and I ask for your address, you need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel or otherwise it's a no-go for me. So I will be posting the results on my YouTube story and on my YouTube community page, I believe. Don't worry, you will know. I will reach you also individually, which is all that matters. I love you guys. Good luck for the giveaways and Merry Christmas, even though you will see a lot from me this month. So see you tomorrow, probably. I love you. Bye-bye.